No thank you please, playing video game. This game contains repeated flashing imagery. Please do not watch if that makes a big sad for you. No oh, why? Hi guys, no thank you please, back playing video games. Um, so I had a burrito for lunch and therefore a three hour nap. But I'm back, um, I have a frozen margarita. Ooh, that's a little high. Hello. Any of you know me know I make the best frozen margaritas. Um, and we have a walk through. So go. The door to the left of the crawl space is now open. Go inside and take the oval portrait off the right hand wall. Pick up the present and interact to get them. Okay. So I think what we need is this. And I think it needs to go. Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, so unpleasant. Right, I think it needs to go. We aren't, I'm not going to read too far ahead in the in the walkthrough, otherwise you ruin things like that fucking brave little toaster shit that we had last time. Um, Um, but I did what I did read in the in the walkthrough is that this hatchet isn't going to open for a really long time. No, oh, why? <laughs> okay, All right, I brought OBS up again now so that I don't accidentally read bits in the walkthrough. Is this still locked? Oh no, this is the door we came through, isn't it? To the crawl space. I really don't, I really hate that mechanism. Is it supposed to be locked? Because the other doors that were locked. Oh, is there a way to turn that mechanism off? Oh, 
puzzle door is still locked. Can we interact with this in any way? There's a little cross right in the middle. Cross here. Also, the walkthrough was like, this game is notoriously difficult. Good. What is it, what is it with me? Why can't I just pick nice games or easy games or just, you know, things that are not fucking hideous? No, I have to pick the worst fucking thing I can find. I hate nurses so much. Nooses, not nurses. We love nurses. Sorry. Um. And. Oh god, I hate this. I feel like we should be interacting with this in some way. But we can't. It also looks to be, without the triangle on it, a similar mechanism to the puzzle door. No, no. It. Oh God, I thought you'd moved. At least it'd be contained within it. Ah! King frame. <laughs> Unlike the chair that seems to move. Oh, is that the day? Is that, is that noise? Is that the chair following me around even here? No, that's not moved. I really am going to try and do this as much as we can without the walkthrough, but if you've been here before, you'll know we're not going to get far. I don't like you. I don't like your town. I don't wanna like you. I'll shop around. No. What's that? Did you guys see that floating leaf thing? Aaron? I don't know what to do now. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do now. Hi, bugger. Hello. Are you taking me somewhere? Right, so we don't do much and I follow a bugger around for a bit, like a sane person, so. Take a picture of the hung portrait with your camera. I need to learn to do that. That's a huge mechanic in the game, and that needs to be my go-to for everything. It needs to be, if I don't know what I'm doing, take a picture of it, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh good, we're getting an auto save. Oh, what's the picture gonna have? It's you pointing at me. That's nice. Oh! Okay, I, oh. Okay, well we know where we're going, so. I don't like how cavalier these doors open. Madison Hale, 43 years old, serial killer. What the hell has Dad been doing in here? <sighs> serial killer, caught and murdered. Madison agonized a few hours before she died. Witchcraft or mental illness. Serial killer was fatally shot in the stomach, 1987. Madison Hale dumped her victim's bodies inside a well in her basement. Who has a well in their basement? Who has one of those? We don't even have basements here in this country. 43 year old Satanist woman killed her own family during a witchcraft ceremony. Dreadful pictures of victims' bodies were found in Hale's basement. Officer Russell testifies, as informed by police department, the officer that ended Madison's life testifies that before dying, the 
serial killer begged for her instant camera. The 43-year-old woman is suspected to have taken pictures of her victims once mutilated. Again, unacceptable behaviour. Go back to reading this thing over and over again. It's the same. It's the Jupiter's Cathed Cathedral, the Church of Horrors. St. Jupiter's Cathedral, the Church of Horrors. After a long history of incidents, St. Jupiter's Cathedral is all the rage once again. Something confirmation. Something that it will hold a public wake in honour. Of the soul of the 43-year-old serial killer, Madison Hale, who murdered a total of four people last month. <clears throat> the wake will be public and free, and according to the priest's sayings, they will seek to illuminate Madison's soul with divine light, allowing her to peer into the gates of heaven. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Should I be able to read that? The bodies inside it, I'm gonna go with no. Did you hear that? Gonna take the picture of it. Okay, so that changes anything. It doesn't. Uh this is nice. Is this open? Oh, I hate that mechanism, I hate it. I'm gonna go back into the hall one more time. Well, that door is slammed behind us and we can't go get back here. All right, okay. God bless walkthroughs, man. God bless them. Safe. This box of gas gasoline? VHS tape. Can I get any closer? Okay. opening or doing stuff because then when it's not those things <coughs> I'm gonna start to disregard them okay the fucking chokehold that PT has on the horror community is just unfathomable Dad said he was repairing Grandpa's house, but said he's investigating this woman. Oh! What's going on? Right, so we're not... Um... We're not in the Hale family. That seems significant to me, and yet I don't understand how. Camera, but she... But... 
here, her, here, the the bodies inside a well in her basement. Right? Yeah, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. takes the edge off uh, horror games. Alcohol. Mm -mm -mm. Nummy, nummy, nummy. Okay. Still recording. That's nice. If you're not, um, uh, uh, a Let's Player or a streamer or something, um, hang on, the circle's opened now. Can I interact with this in any way? Um, you might, you might be why, you know, confused as to why I constantly check that I'm recording. OBS is very, very good. It's also free software. Um, <clears throat> and it's just like the industry standard, everybody uses it. But sometimes, for reasons only known to itself, it will corrupt and you'll just lose everything you recorded. Um, and to me, that appears as a, um, as just zeros. That's how I know that it's just stopped recording. Even though I didn't actively like press anything or stop it from recording or... like if we use the hammer enough it would work I do feel that R2. okay right let's take a picture of the door it's gonna be our go-to right these pictures because we've got instant amounts of pictures yeah it normally makes a weird sound if it's like changed anything or made any impact um, <clears throat> so, and it's not done that. Which is a really nice mechanism, I'm pleased they did that because, um, you know, it helps you to know whether or not you're doing the right thing. I need to know if I'm doing something with this! Um, what was I saying? Some shit. Oh. Right, let's go back to the walkthrough. Let's go back to the walkthrough. Say it's sorry here, not the the Polaroid instant camera is a new is a big new addition here. It's an integral part of your inventory and serves an important way to gain information. Like the light bulb, it can alter certain objects by photographing them. And the photographs it prints out can reveal additional information beyond what your eyes can see. As a rule, you should photograph anything surrounded by Polaroid photos or just anything that seems weird. Ah, ah, okay. Right, now that we know that, which we could have worked out ourselves, yep, see, it does something when, it's, when something changes. Two. Old. I know tapes are old, but I still struggle 
with composites. John. Jock? Jom. With an M. I hope you find this woeful. Useful? <laughs> I hope you find this woeful. Please be careful. Remember what we bakered about talked. <clears throat> I'll get back to you as soon on polites. Priest Thomas. Oh, I see. John, I hope you find this useful. Please be careful. Remember what we talked about. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Priest Thomas, I know tapes are old, but I still struggle with computers. Okay. Okay. Did we take a picture of this? I think we did. Let's do it. Feel like that's gonna wear off though. But we did that and then the screen disappears. We've taken a picture of it. It didn't change anything. Should we do it again? Should we take another picture of this? Okay. So we're gonna need all three numbers, are we? So the first one was two. That's three. Or a question mark. That's a martini glass. Okay, let's try it one more time. Shake, shake, shake. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Okay, nothing's changed. Two, some kind of C question mark symbol and a martini glass. Right? Are you happy? I'm happy. Let's go. Oh, I make the best frozen margaritas. <coughs> Shut up. Okay, so that. Okay, so that has pick. That has Polaroids on it. Right, but nothing changed in the area. Maybe there's something on the picture. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm stupid, okay? I'm thick. I'm a thick, thick boy. Next to the TV, interact with them and get the key marked J. Open the door across from you and go inside and see the red safe. Pick up the le the tape labeled one next to it. Okay, we've done that. Use the J key to open the safe. Take out Luca's notebook. Right, I thought it would be a combination safe. I didn't think it would have a key. I thought the keys was for the door.
I hope these chairs are sentient and they move around. That would be very funny. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You know what really takes the edge off uh, horror games? Alcohol. 